I was thinking of um, making the logic of a basic puppet and maybe even a deluxe puppet if we get that far um, so that we can understand like all the stuff that's going on in here um, so uh, first we'll just grab that out I should probably explain what I'm doing so um, yeah if you scope into a puppet uh, these parts are just normal sculpts kind of normal sculpts and um, and joints so if I turn on uh, connectors and x-ray you can see all the all the connectors so it's just a normal like setup of stuff um, which means you can select them and because this is you can see the yellow is uh, the parent and the blue is the child for um, connectors um, the pelvis or whatever it decides to call it let's see if it calls it something specific pelvis cool so the pelvis is the thing that um, all the other parts come from so basically the pelvis moves around and everything else like moves with it effectively so um, we can um, grab this whole thing out of there so you're going to start from scratch so first I'll just explain if I go into make a sculpt make a separate sculpt because you have to uh, you can only connect two different sculptures uh, then I can connect them with a connector like that and this is the parent and the child moves with the parent but the child can move separately and stuff and then if I grab that and move over here I could ma make another connector chain going on that and then the middle one will kind of move to try and compensate to allow this allow this end one to be in the position you set it in um, now if you select that one with X then you're just selecting that one if you select that one it kind of highlights both of them because if you double tap X then now you've got hold of both of them so I could copy both of them like that uh, and if you go on the very tippy top one then the very uh, bottom like child of all these will be selected as well so then you can copy that whole thing so that's what we're going to be doing over here uh, yeah so if I just scope in in here double tap X so single tap just selects that one double tap selects all of them connected um, uh, and if I just do that so this is this is in, in the group with the puppet this thing um, if I double tap X on that that selects everything in the current scope so um, if this one is inside the puppet this one is outside the puppet if I double tap X now it selects everything in the scope which is the scene because I'm not within a, a group but then if I go in here it's selecting everything in the group but not this outside of it the uh, floor um, if you so but if it has connectors double tapping X just selects all the connected connectors like child objects and stuff of it um, however if you triple click then it selects everything in the scope again um, so that was a bit of a tangent so uh, so we're going to use this double tap X to select all the puppet and then we will clone it holding L1 and then using R2 then we're going to let go of L1 and then you can go L1 and circle to take it out of group or if you're holding something and you press L1 and X on it then it puts it in the group so now we have just the puppet whoa that was interesting oh that's because we added a connector earlier so now this thing this whole puppet just falls through everything and, it, and it's it collapses and stuff that's because 
uh, it's not collidable um, because in a uh, if you look at the puppet and you go to the physics tab and you hover over these collision shape things this is sometimes known as the pill shape and this is what actually collides with stuff uh, by default because um, the animations and stuff you tend to not want it collidable um, but it always depends on what you're actually doing the specifics but um, uh, so it makes all these non-collidable and then has this this special invisible pill shape you can adjust um, where the effectively where the bottom of it is whereas if it's at the feet or halfway up I guess that is um, and then you can adjust the height of it and the width of it which is all the way around it's like a radius so if you're making a um, first person puppet you probably want the width a bit thicker because otherwise you might like clip into a wall or something if it's really thin and the camera's like here then you might um the camera might go into a wall or something like that so you can just thicken that up and if uh, you've got a load of stairs or something you could try um adjusting the vertical position so that the so that you don't kind of get stuck so easily things like that so Let's leave that like that. Um, but that means this has no collision on it. So just to show what's going on, if I add collision, it will collapse into a mess. Um, like ragdoll type effect. Uh, and you could even, if you go into things like the connectors, you could adjust these to make sure that, uh, to give it some uh, like if I did that, uh, give it some springiness, then it would try and keep those connectors um, a bit more like um, in the original position, basically. Things like that. Um, so you could adjust that to like make a ragdoll effect. So it all just collapses. Um, alternatively, I believe. So if I play time, and I go into the body structure, and just start pressing triangle on things, that kind of ragdolls as well, because th these tell. Um, so to add one, you click on that. Whoa! Let's stop that. Okay. So you normally go click X on that and then X on the belly piece and now that belly piece moves properly. Uh, but if you triangle all, all the things then it all collapses just as um, that one did but it's kind of... Oh it's all freaking out now. <laughs> um, so you could have a keyframe could you have a keyframe? Let's see if a keyframe would work. So, no, a keyframe wouldn't work. Um, yeah. Uh, so let's go go back to here. So we have this this thing, and it's all the reason it's all falling is because it's movable as well. So if it wasn't movable, it would just stay there, movable, and it collapses. Nice. Um, but we need to um, first. We need to put get the basic puppet working like this. So to do that, there is no. Uh, so this is. Uh, let's just turn off X-ray. So this purple thing here um, denotes that you're in a puppet heart. Uh, they call it uh, MM. Uh, a puppet heart is a special kind of group um, that has like the tweak menu, this special puppet tweak menu. Um, and you can also tweak the base there to get that menu. Um, so we need one of those to get all these like special options and stuff. So let's try doing that. 
but it's not a separate gadget it's it comes with the puppet so if we just stamp that in there um uh so it's a bit tricky to like demonstrate this super nicely i'll just delete those so uh i'll put this here just so we can actually scope into it otherwise it will disappear into the ether um kind of yeah um so we have this puppet heart group and we want to put this into it so just as before double tap x on the pelvis so we can select all of it and then bring it over and then hover over the thing we want to scope into and use l1 and x and now we're scoped into that if we let go delete that so now it's in the puppet group and it's not going anywhere and we have whoa uh, it's jumping around a bit because of reasons. But we have the tweak menu all set up all nicely. Um, so I'll put this on the platform. And that should work okay. And the positioning of this you can finesse and whatever. Uh, you put the feet on the, the surface of that purple bit, I, I believe. Let's just check over here. Yeah, just on the surface, so that should be okay. Um, and now it doesn't like jump around and stuff um, because this purple base is kind of what it uses to to search for the ground and things like that. So um, that should be okay. So now it's not moving around and stuff. But um, if we so normally if you um, look at the tweak menu over here and play time then it will kind of preview oh, some freaky stuff going on over there um, it will normally like put it into the mode oh it looks like it's affecting this as well oh I know what that is let me just fix that mm -hmm. Cool. That's an interesting effect, actually. So, um, yeah, while you play time, then it kind of previews these things. Like, this is how the walk looks, and his, this is how the run looks, and that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, because we haven't told it what parts, what what body parts are which, uh, nothing really happens with the uh, run and walk. So let's fix that. So you tweak the uh, puppet and then you go to the body structure and you do what we were talking about before. You use X on the pelvis and click on the pelvis and now it knows what that is. And do the same for all the other things. Um, and I believe the if you want like the head to work properly you have to have um, a belly and a chest and a neck everything leading up to it otherwise you can't actually connect these things so if I deleted one in the middle now then the head just is forgotten and doesn't work properly so that's so then we reconnected it uh, and put on that, put on that. fun stream uh cool so um so now if i tweak it so you can see already it's like head is following the imp and if we go into here then it's previewing it properly and it's working just fine so that's pretty cool so and if we like put it up here it will land nicely things like that 